So put your hands together very well for Pastor Amos. Hallelujah. Karibu sana, man of God. Totinge hotuo. Torea hotani. Todo torea gayuria. E monene waita. Totinge roara. Due torea honie. Todo torea gayuria. E monene waita. Toti gehuka, tore aradime, todo tore agayuria, e monene waita. Idwe tore agayuria, uruga magia makobe. Idwe tore agayuria, uruga magia makobe. One more time. Idwe tore agayuria, uruga magia makobe. Just declare it. Idwe tore agayore auro gamba gamba ku neki oto tige hoto tore a hota ni todo tore agayore e monene waita idwe tige hoto tore a hota ni todo tore agayore e monene waita. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now we are declaring our reality. Ateidwe tori. Agayo agayoria oroga magia makobe. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Yes. That, that's our DNA. Amen. That that is who we are. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Gai waigoro, gai wagwana marurume Weware na musa, kere maine goro Isira eri matia kuheri, riene komaka Netu ago dhadaya, monene wanene We can worship Netu koe wega yotari Ne Sira oni e shiriri e goda kanawe Rere aro mere ire boto ya e sira eri Wai koro kire o keru tagarishi a ke magoro Netu a goda da ya monene wan We can worship together Netu koe we gayotari
thank you for your presence. Oh, yo, ide wa kwa ni ni kuere tie akuduria ona gakorana gashama wega gahutia utia kono wega i Shiria, when you hold Nagia, we mori giti.
gojega ya kohoya ni gojara yana gai nirio ni mu twara gera Riria rio de dina kea ni anya marura ga koro ka turo made naine ke pale ge paraga no kia ni we daga gwe ho kage na gwe dage me de jode ayeri ni we daga gwe ho kage na gwe dage me de jode kui gamo koi ne maku kwe terere ho no ya ne kion ye yo haga go die yo bai ne amo Just open up your mouth if you're able to pray in tongues. Just pray in tongues right now in the name of Jesus. Pray in tongues. Pray in tongues. Pray in tongues. Let us pray. Let us pray. Shate kaparias dala baraba gada yala laba. Rane kete de de basande kopara katai. Shade ke pereze lo prasa gata liriba. Shane kete vaso varaga tai di astai labai. Shate kopara zeleverie. Thank you heaven the father for your presence. Shall ever every stage to the reba to every person that is watching thank you for our father there is saiva say your power is manifested in the mighty name of Jesus tonight your healing tonight your restoring if you to riaga yori oroga magia makobe kore bara era ro dage keno kore bara era hota no dage keno kore bara shadege paraga tadiriba kore na mai dori maragi rio dage keno shadege peri sivras daga tai oh don't just don't look around just open up your mouth and pray
Wetagai monya marori There is a child of God that came into the house tonight and you on the verge of giving up ne kore gai moto nyamarori Fala seva la gaparia style of I shade ge paragatali di basande. Remember, child of God, there is a prophetic word hanging over your life. You shall witness and you shall experience God's exceeding power. That word is living and active. That word is living and active, and the Lord is 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 acting in haste to accomplish that word upon your life. You shall not cry forever. You shall not mourn forever. There is a God. There is a God in heaven. There is a God in heaven. Young man, there is a God in heaven. There is a God in heaven that cares about you. There is a God in heaven that sees your tears. There is a God in heaven that knows your heart aches. He knows. Father, we thank you. The power of the Holy Spirit is resting upon all of us. Things are shifting from our lives. Oh, forget pia da la samri stagatali de ba. Open up your heart wide and just receive that which the Lord is doing. Open, open your heart wide. Open your heart wide. Don't just look around. Don't be casual. My God, the power of the Holy Spirit is manifested in this place. Oro shine guakia. We will be born again. Oh, she never care. Where Gawaku? Era Oro shine guakea, wenwe boru akwa. Oro shine guakea, wenwe boru akwa. Wega waku. Wega waku, ni ochi ganete. Otugi waku, ni woro gano. Shine guakea, shine guakea, we re boru akwa. Oro shine guakea, we re boru akwa. Oro shine guakea, we re boru akwa. We ukareire yete nengi o damaki gumono goshi nishia kugai we uta uta guo. Hoti wa mothe Wanyarere inishiapu Wanyarere inishiapu 
Stretch forth your hand and just hold the hand of your neighbor. Thank you, Jesus. We have a mother in this house, an overseer, and I want us in this atmosphere to release words of grace, words of strength. The impression that the Lord lays in your heart, start declaring it in the name of Jesus. Don't just look at me, just open up your mouth and start praying for overseer in the name of Jesus. Just plug in with us and just pray for the dear woman of God, Evangelist Lucy Wagojiri. Make mention of our daddy patron, patron, uh, patron Lamek. Pray, pray, sow a seed of prayer. Don't be silent. Don't just look around. Don't just bow your head and you're silent. There is no prayer. Open up your mouth and pray. Declare, if the Lord leads you to take authority, take authority. If the Lord leads you to plead, the blood of Jesus over them and over their household. Please do that. Do that in the name of Jesus. Azega para katalada ba zataya da bogi mamuega wa muiri. Sadege peria sa sizarai. Shedege teli diga tatras takatali de basande. Oh, I declare grace. I declare grace. I declare grace. I declare good health. I declare grace. I declare strength. Thank you, Abba Father, for this that you're doing in and through the woman of God. It is global. It is global. Thank you, Abba Father, for you are amplifying her voice across Africa, across Asia, across India. In the mighty name of Jesus, Australia. Somebody pray. North and South America. United States of America, Zaveria Gata Canada, Shadege Peri Zivras Nagatalidi Basande, Hane Katalidi Basande, Ketele de Basande Nema. Oh, somebody join me and let us pray for her Kameme ministry in the name of Jesus. Shadege Peri Zivras Nagatai, Shateke Pe, Shade, Shatakope Rezelua, Asalua, Hameke Nevenem Bilas Tailavai, Kameme A Itahare Amuoyo, Itahare. Is a breath of healing, is a breath of encouragement, is a breath of comfort, is a breath of the living God across the airwaves. That in the name of Jesus, all manner of installation of, of darkness, they are being dislodged. Principalities and powers. Shadege peri zivrasagatalidima. Shadege peri. Ah, this grace is upon the college of the. Ah, is upon the clergy. Is upon the pastors. Is upon the the leaders is upon the co-workers this grace is upon my Mahu. this grace is upon Gara this grace is upon Marmanet in the mighty name of Jesus all co-workers all members all the friends of PBB there is a grace there is a grace that opens doors there is a grace that defies that defies generational trends there is a grace that transforms there is a grace Thank you, Papa, that even as we share from your table, our hearts are open.
Thank you, Abba Father, as we as we listen from your word, O oh God. Oh, as it was with Cleopas, let our hearts burn. Let our hearts burn within us in the name of Jesus as you minister your word to us. Let there be radical transformation in the name of Jesus. Let miracles happen. Let the conviction of the Holy Spirit rest upon any person that is not born again. Our confidence is in you. Our awareness is you, O oh God. Our awareness is the presence of the Lord. The Bible says we are come unto Mount Sion, unto the city of the living God, unto a company of innumerable angels. And thank you, Abba Father, because there are angels all over this place. There is an open heaven upon this place in the name of Jesus. So our awareness is you. Our awareness is you. And our hearts are open to that which you do. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Nimotoa third heaven. Um it's good to see all of us and I want you whether you're seated whether you're standing just reach out to the person left on the right and just remind them God said it is our season of experiencing his exceeding power remind them ah, okay sawa sawa okay now ebu ni angalie Please, usiambie ebu ni angalia kwanza. Usiambie neibako na sura inaka tokens, okay? Smile at them, okay? Smile at them. Smile at them. Tell them, your life, your life will advertise God's exceeding power. Do they look convinced? Hallelujah. My God, ah, ma Madam Susan, ah, that song is just something. Idu tulia gayolia. So if you do that to the left, to the right, you can enjoy the comfort of your seat. Help me with the joy of the Lord to appreciate uh, music ministers. Uh, the the three mighty men. Nyinyi muna baki hapa. Okay. If you can get a seat, itakuwa vizuri sana. Okay. Ni sawa tu hata ukichukua hiyo yenye iko na msalaba akalie. Okay. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Uh, you know, uh, wale watu wa nyumbani mnajua tunapenda response. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Is it okay if we talk? I want to really celebrate God for this opportunity. Um, I celebrate Jesus for our dear overseer, the prophet, prophetess in the house, Evangelist Lucy Wago Jiri. My God, that's a common name. Can we appreciate Jesus for this great woman of God together with the daddy patron? Let's appreciate Jesus for dear parents in the faith. We celebrate you. We know they are somewhere just praying with, with us and for us. And we bless God. We are a real testament that they are not fake. Hallelujah. If you are to check your photos, uh, two, 2,000 up. Huh? And then you compare Nasai, you will understand that God has been constantly at work in your life out of their labor in the Lord. And that's a reason to celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. Paul would say unto the Corinthians that you are my mark of apostleship in the Lord. So we can say that concerning, concerning them that we are the mark of their apostleship, we are the very evidence living evidence that they are sent hallelujah 
Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ah, si tunaongeleshana. Eh? There is a swa ina narudia ni sababu sisikini kama mna respond. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen and amen. Just the other day I was celebrating my birthday and I was really tempted to put up a photo a TBT of a time I was looking for an insurance job. My god. Nikuwa nimeva suti shoulders imefika huko hivi. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ba ba that one that one Help me celebrate Jesus for all the men and the women of God in the house. Reverend Julius, Reverend Susan, Evangelist Njogu, all the leaders in the house. Hallelujah. All the leaders in the house, we celebrate you. All co-workers, we celebrate you. All the members, we celebrate you. My God, where we were, Moanya. In the name of Jesus. Where, Morio, kana gita ako hapo iwa. Na bado hata hatujagosha kwa hivyo muhomoke tunarudi hapa hivyo Kuna song bado hatujaimba oh oh ne wode inaga Gei neramo Oria onyeta mono No wetu dere gosaga Oh ne wode inaga Ki Kire Mushangai ne jete ketie Ninga kwe onera na maido makoa Defuroni wale ame mwoyo Kono ya kwe kire kuhoteka Nane goko gos na kutu giri Weche ovaro irigoro akwa Muru ibara ya kwa naitare hoi Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So for the sake of the for the sake of the visitors, my name is Amos, Pastor Amos, and uh, I thank God for the privilege of serving God in this ministry under this grace. Nana shukuru mungu. Is it okay if we get into the word of God? <laughs> uh, let me see by a show of hands, how many were here on Sunday? On Sunday? Amazing. Good. Ah, good, good. It makes my job very, very easy. Um, I'm just about to read something here. I actually went over that message and I actually wrote word after word yenye evangelist alikuwa nasema 
like she was dictating to me so i was just writing okay so that he may lay a good foundation for all of us and then we are going to share something small and we are going to pray i pray by the end of this service one you will have a deep appreciation of the great value that you have before the eyes of god i pray that your eyes are going to be open na utaona wewe ni mtu wa dhamana machoni pake mungu hallelujah bwana yesu asifiwe i also pray that you will come to terms with the fact that god has vested his power on the inside of you bwana yesu asifiwe he has he has actually vested himself on the inside the greatest investment that you have is not in somewhere in uh, money markets it is god v- investing himself on the inside of you you carry power bwana yesu asifiwe and by the end of this session by the end of this session i pray that somebody's eyes are going to be open to see that you are the very hope that your family has bwana yesu asifiwe god never brought you under this umbrella just for the sake of attending church giving tithes and offerings and then you go home there is an agenda the agenda is to see transformed nations and their leaders through the power of prayer and the working of the holy spirit you are the only bible some of your cousins are going to read and what we are going to share here will will bring you to the place where you see yourself differently not according to what they have said about you not according to the situation you're facing not according to the circumstances you're going through but according to that which god the creator of the heavens and the earth is saying concerning you bwana yesu asifiwe how many know that god does not speak to be heard he he speaks to be obeyed bwana yesu asifiwe so nikumaanisha if he says you are blessed it is not just you that is obeying every circumstance and situation around your life must obey that word bwana yesu asifiwe it must align and agree with that which god has already said bwana yesu asifiwe praise the lord are you guys here help me appreciate jesus for every last one of the persons that are watching Ningesema ningesema help me appreciate Jesus for every single person that is watching kakumbuka kuna wengine wako married wenye wana watch okay so help me with the joy of the lord appreciate Jesus for every last person that is watching by this stream Wewe sasa imo piga makofi my leader I am seeing you hata bila glasses na kuona Hallelujah now this is what and even if you go back to that stream ya Sunday you're going to find this word for word Okay. What does the Bible say about generational curses? Please just stick with me. Stick with me. Stick with me. We are we are going on a journey and we are building towards somewhere, okay? So, so just hold it there, Joshua, okay? Hold it there. I will tell you when to go to the slide, okay? What does the Bible say about generational curses? And then evangelist asked are there generational curses are there things that were done by our forefathers and the consequences still follow us today she asked those two questions and then she said yes there are generational curses and demons bwana yesu asifiwe Praise the Lord. Please just follow, 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 follow. Follow. Just trust that we are going somewhere and it will get good, okay? Are there generational curses? Are there things that were done by our forefathers and the consequences still follow us today? She said, "Yes. There are generational curses and demons. These are things that travel through generations these are patterns these are trends yeah and she mentioned a few find some families 
um, kuna neno iliachiliwa na shosho mudu dakana ige ngobe mugodo dukana gayo uko wase wakifika tu class 8 either cheesy ama afanye nini ama ama exit if any person akifanya harusi lazima mtoto wa kwanza akufe hakuna mtu yote ana anaanzishanga biashara inanawiri and those things are there bwana yesu asifiwe praise the lord those things are there tigano shoko wa do matihikaga kwa do na hiko shia o shitikaraga all those things she said yes there are generational curses and demons things that travel through generations these are patterns and these are trends and then she said but for you and i that are in Christ Jesus we have been given power an authority to trample upon all these powers Bwana Yesu asifiwe Somebody say I have the power Say loudly I have the power, have the power. to trample upon all these things My God we are going to get somewhere with all this Luke chapter number 10 and verses 19 Jesus said some very serious or he said behold I give you power and authority to trample upon the scorpions the serpents and all the powers of the enemy and then she, uh, he added something and all this shall by no means hurt you shall by no means harm you nikumaanisha even if there is any scheme of hell against you it cannot touch you because that which you have been given not only repels but it also neutralizes every scheme of darkness there is a light vested on the inside of you there is fire in your bones the spirit of the one who raised Jesus from the dead dwells on the inside of you hallelujah bwana yesu asifiwe but for you and i that are in Christ Jesus we have been given power and authority to trample upon all these all demonic curses all rituals all sacrifices even that which were done in governments nakumbuka nyayo 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 torture chambers people died some innocently i i i i i was going through that, that message and i remember every time we are going home to nakuru uh, we pass by naivasha mahali ambapo mwili ya father kaiser ilipatikana he was assassinated because he was standing against a political clout so he was assassinated and his body was found somewhere hapo tu ukipita tu naivasha tu please hapo delamea hapo hapo inaitangwaje ukipita tu on your left utaona tu mahali ambapo kimsalaba kimewekwa tu hapo that's why his body was being collected people that died innocently and mama was saying all demonic curses all rituals all sacrifices even that which was done in governments before we were born do not have a final say over our lives praise the lord they don't, who has the final say over your life no that's not convincing christians who has the final say over your life somebody say jesus It is Jesus who has the final say. Nikumaanisha we are operating a totally totally different frequency from that which otherwise would uh, victimize somebody. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So this is what she said. My God, she says all these are powerless over you and every aspect of your life if you know. If you wapendwa, if you do what? If you know but if you do not know these things will affect you and you will be a victim of circumstances na nikio kuona andu mekwa bereria biashara sitigothi na mbere why because you do not know because if you know you would engage a certain kind of a principle 
There is a certain language you will speak other than that which is spoken in your family. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Riri ado, riri ado maroiga, maroiga, huko ado matieka gona nona nona nona. You are operating a totally different realm. Oko iga nie de wa gayori ya oroga magi ya makobe. Why? Because I am born of the word and I am born of the spirit. The Bible says that he that is born from above is above all things. How is it that you can be born from above and you be a subject of curses? You be a, a subject of limitations. You be a, a subject of all manner of generational trends. Hallelujah. Shout on the top of your voice. Say, the blessing of the Lord is resting upon my life. When others are falling, I stand. When others are sliding, the Bible says, excuse me, the Bible says, thy path, my path has thou enlarged beneath my feet that I should not sleep or even hit my foot against a stone. You are under a totally different dominion. I ask people in his presence, how is it that God, the creator of all, teacher Tabi, can get you, Colossians 1.13, and we are going to get there, he picks you up, translates you, Aki Madam Susan, she said me in the dominion of darkness, from the no dominion of darkness, he translates you into the dominion of light, upper, and then he leaves you for Satan to play games with you. Don't you know your life is hid with Christ in God? Don't you know? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. There is something that is surrounding you. Even without feeling goosebumps. There is a power that is surrounding you. Even without falling down under the power of the Holy Spirit. There is something, one, that you carry and two, that envelops you like this. Your life is hid with Christ in God. If you do not know, Hosea chapter number 4 and verse 6 says, My people, he never said the heathen, My people perish for lack of knowledge. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the Lord. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because you have rejected knowledge, I also reject you as my priests. Look at this. He's not talking about heathens. I reject you. He was, he was telling the Israelites. And at this time, at this time, Hosea ni mwenye alikuwa naambia watu, is it time for you to be building your own paneled houses? You eat, you're never full. You drink and you never have a feel. You clothe yourself, but you're never warm. And Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Why? Because these guys had neglected the, the rebuilding of the temple. These guys. My people are being destroyed because they do not know me. Since you priests refuse to know me. And how many know that knowing God is personal? Uh, since you priests refuse to know me, I refuse to recognize you as my priest. Since you have forgotten the law of your God, I will forget to bless your children. Matthew chapter number 22 and verses 29. Wase wakakuja kujaribu yesu. They came to try Jesus. Oh, there was a man who married a woman. And that man died. The brother married to the seventh brother. Walikuatua na wanao msichana mmoja, wanakufa. Wapili akakufa, watatu akakufa. Wa wanne hakuwa naona kuna shida hapa hivi. Kuna ka generational trend hapa hivi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. To the seventh and then they asked Jesus kumtega. In resurrection, huyu atakuwa bibi ya nani? Look at what Jesus replied. <laughs> Can we read together? Your mistake is that you don't know the scriptures and you don't know the power of God. So, Nikuma Anisha, the moment you interact with the scriptures, you come face to face with the power of God. One, number two, uh, Timothy, Timothy, my son, uh, thou hast known the holy scriptures that are able to make you wise unto salvation. You become a transmitter of that power. You make, your mistake is that you do not know the scriptures and you do not know the power of God. Isaiah chapter number 53 and verses 1. Mawekomaku. 
Nemaira di monyigi. Shakwitora ga etene na ten. Isaiah 53 and verses 1. Give me in the KJV. KJV. Just take it slow, guys. Who has believed our message? To whom? Who has believed our report? Yes, I know you have a report from your doctor. I know you have a report from your clan. You have a report from there. But God is asking today, children of God that I have bought with my own blood, who has believed our report? Nikumanisha, there is a totally different report that is coming from heaven. The moment that you believe it, and to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed, you are going to see the hand of the Lord in your situation. My people perish for lack of knowledge. If you do not know these things, these things will affect you and they are going to afflict you. And then she went into the solution. She asked, how do we deal with them? How do we deal with them? How many remember the first thing she said? Don't worry, in Tampatia, Mokenya. Number one, know that demons and their prince Satan do not have power over you. Hallelujah. Satan and all his imps and demons don't have any power whatsoever. The prince of the world cometh, but he has no part in me. Praise the Lord. You may even be in the You may be in a furnace that is burning seven times. But there is a knowledge that causes for you on the inside not to have anxiety, not to worry. But you are keeping your smile on. Why? Because you know today is like this. Tomorrow is going to be different. I know the one who holds my tomorrow. His name is Jesus. And he is still committed to me. He is still committed to his promise over my life. I will witness and I'm going to experience God's exceeding power. Hallelujah. He has not rescued me from the dominion of darkness so that Satan may advertise himself through my life. Hallelujah. Do you know? Do you know that Satan, do you know that demons, do you know that all imps, they have no power over you? Do you know that? Hallelujah. Kuna mbogi flani iko hapa hivi nasemanga. Pasi ni aje niombe. Ni nini inafanyika? Deri ya toa kama reto igua kama bea shigete bea goko igu igoro. Bwana yesu wa sifiwe. Vika gere diogo. Kinya adha akeda. Guishi koka kakaodo. Tarishi ya na. So where for you... Your awareness is Satan. Tiga ogu okwa biye kura hanini. And then, ohi gore mora ogu okiuma okore kiura hau. Wale watu anakuanga nini onsama, I know who you are. Kapaya. Kadefe levela. Kanadino ho, I read the spirit of stagnation. The spirit of slow motion. Now, child of God, Satan has no power over you. Demons have no power over you. My God, watch out na panya, watch as ikimbizane. Probably they are taking care of the next generation. Akoro we moge ni ura amenya oria dero. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ateni geretie ko hora dawa gwa kwanyeje shidire shitiradira. Leave them alone. It is God who is providing for them through the food that you are leaving on the counter. How many know that the Bible says he opens his hand and he satisfies the desire of every living thing? Now you are at the house. Somebody says Satan has no power over me. All demons have no power over me. I am hidden in Christ in God. I am hidden in Christ in God. Uh, I don't know. Do I have an envelope? Inside the envelope. I've um, I've done this analogy to a Bible study, and I don't mind re re uh, repeating it. Now, look at this. What is this? Huh? 
a savior. Now, this is Amos and this is you. Now, the Bible says, your life is hid with Christ. With Christ? One, it is in Christ Jesus. And the Bible says, continues to say that you have been sealed. Nikumanisha, that seal, nobody can break it except God. Because Satan has no power. So your life is in Christ. And then, it is in God. Now, where are you? Where are you? Where are generation curses coming from? How can they touch you? Uge wa shosho oge kerati akiwo kia gai. Uge wa mama guo oge kerati akiwo kia gai. Uge wa. Hallelujah. Ay, mother ni agosho. Idwe tori aga yori a oroga ma stay in the spirit. Idwe tori aga yori a oroga magia makobe. Idwe tori aga yori a oroga magia ona goke mo yoro. Brother Mwiti, your life is hid with Christ in This is what it means. If Satan is to come against you, he has to bypass God. Hallelujah. Please, Reverend Jogu, to do any way na kola oka to weke guy. Evangelist Nyogu, simama up. Okay? Now, please, this idea, but niangali uku, niangali uku. Just look at me, look at me. Thank you, sir. Please, uh, please, please, kuja tu, Jesu Christo. Now, watch this. Watch this. Satan na dinu yate de shaitani. So, he has to come. Eh, niorona wero rea weho, kwe heri ya gai. Niorona, nieko hota. Now, even if he gets past God, here is Christ Jesus. Are you seeing that? Colossians chapter number one. It pleased the Father that the fullness of the Godhead dwell in him in bodily form. So, he will meet the almighty God here and when he comes to the Son, he meets the fullness of the Godhead. Now, supposing he even gets to you. No, go to Eka Amos. Okay, 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 okay. Ah, okay. Minister Njeng. Now, this is the believer. This is you. Simama tu hapo nyuma. Simama hapo nyuma yao. Now, look at this. Even if Satan gets to you, this is if you know. If you know. Here ikujangi na osmosis by church attendance. There is no way you can sit in a garage all day and you become a car. <laughs> Hallelujah! Bwana Yesu asifiwe. You cannot sit in a church. Sitting in church does not make you a believer. It doesn't make you a Christian. It doesn't make you a son of God. You may be coming to church, sitting down, and immediately after, after the church is gone, unaenda sleepover. Unaenda dunda. Unaenda kuchapa shisha, jabaration, unaenda kuchapa hata gode. <laughs> Hallelujah. And how many know there are even homosexuals in church? How many know there are lesbians in church? Let me tell you, news, breaking news. You're not a believer. And if you are, you're bringing profanity to the name of Christ. Repent. 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 Because really, that sheer guy, one day, kidogo tunakuja kwako, one day, I listened to a preaching, Kitambos, I think, 20 or 30 years ago. I listened to a preaching by uh, Pastor Andrew Young. And he said this, I was, you know, at that time, Maximum Melodies. While he on a dance man, I was really admiring. And then he stands and starts preaching. I think it was in Kakamega. Kakamega Bukungu Stadium. He stands and preaches and he says, Wewe mwenye unacheza cheza na wakovu, is only a matter of time. Umeruka deep end na ujui kuswim. Na wakati grace ita lift hivi, utazama, utakunywa maji. Na ukikunywa maji, hautabaki chini. Because even the water will be rejecting you. So supposing he bypasses God, he bypasses Jesus in whom the fullness of God dwells. And then he comes to you, the believer. In the believer! Now, in the believer is Christ. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. 
So he's already challenged. I, there are some people who are singing, I am an abogable. That's, that's exactly how you are. If you know, if you know, Mukuba, if you know, but if you don't know, Satan will play games at, 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 with you. I'm no longer a slave to fear. Help me clap to Jesus for this gentleman. Thank you, man of God. I'm no longer a slave to fear. I am a child from my mother's womb. You have chosen me. You have called me by your name. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I've been born again. Into a family. To a family. Your blood runs through my vein. Your, your blood, blood runs through my vein. vein. That is why I say you will have an appreciation of the great value that you have before the eyes of God. He has made everything available for you to live victoriously on the face of the earth. Wait, in the face of all manner of situations and circumstances. He knew before he sent you on the face of the earth. Zile vitu ambazo utapata kwa familia enu, vile amekuumba, utatoboa, and you're going to totally destroy all those things. He knew. Question is, do you know? Do you know? Colossians 1.13 He has translated you from the dominion of darkness into his the dominion of his son. You are under a totally different dominion as you sleep, as you wake up. You are surrounded. You are surrounded. That's exactly how you are. Look at this. God says, the heavens of heavens cannot contain me. The earth itself cannot contain me. But I can dwell on the inside of you. I am to say, dear son, I physically na yaroho. Tuzame. Hallelujah. Ephesians. Now, let's, let's read. Ephesians 2.6. Give me Ephesians 2.6. Alafu wapendwa si. Tusome pamoja. Ephesians 2.6. Let, let us read together. And God raised us up with <laughs> and seated us with him in the heavenly realms. Na kuna wenye wasomi na waitanga my invigilator. Haundi wana check kama wana spell nini vizuri. Ebu tusome sisi wote. And God raised us up with No, tulifufuliwa pamoja na nani? Na Kristo, okay, na Kristo. He raised us. Ah, Joshua we una to For he raised us from the dead along with Christ and seated us with him in the heavenly realms because Ah, uh, read it loudly. Because I am Because I am Now my my father and I are one. Now, let's get perspective of what he's talking about now let's go to colossians no ephesians 1 i don't know that we are going to be able to read this in the passion translation ephesians 1 from verse 15. in the passion translation eh. now are we able to read is that a yes uh, because of this, since I first heard about your strong faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and your tender love towards all his devoted ones, 16, my heart is always full and overflowing with thanks to God for you as I constantly remember you in my prayers. Is about to get real. 17. I pray that the Father of glory, the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, would impart to you the riches of the spirit of wisdom and the spirit of revelation to know him 
through your deepening intimacy with are we reading kuna wenye naona wasomi nitawaita hapa mbele let's read verse 18 i pray that the light of god will illuminate the eyes of your imagination flooding you with with light until you experience the full revelation of the hope of his calling how many know the hope of our calling is jesus christ hallelujah the hope of our calling is jesus christ so he saying that our eyes the eyes of our understanding be flooded with light so that we may see him for who he really is when we see him for who he really is we become like him hallelujah the second thing he prays let's continue that is the wealth of that is the wealth of god's glorious inheritances that he finds in us his holy ones shikili up so in you there is a great and glorious inheritance that god has placed on the inside of you meanwhile we unasema mimi sijaienda shule and yet you carry matters you carry heavy matters there is a glorious inheritance that god finds in you hallelujah bwana yesu asifiwe tuendelee verse 19 i pray todome i pray that you will continually experience the immeasurable greatness of god's power made available to you through so if it is made available to you do you have it Come on guys if it is made available to you do you have it or don't you have it Somebody say I have it So he says I pray that you continually experience the immeasurable greatness of God's power it is in you Hallelujah Meanwhile somebody is listening and they are just a house girl it is in you Ukichapa hiyo deki ukichapa hiyo duster there is power on the inside of you Hallelujah. Meanwhile somebody is going through Reverend Susan a tough time with their supervisor but there is something that is locked up on the inside of you. It is God who has placed it inside there. Hallelujah. Tuendele. Then your lives will become an advertisement of his immense power as it works through you. This is the mighty power. Are we reading? Ama tunasikiza mvua. Hebu tusome. 20 20 This is the power that was released when God raised Christ from the dead and exalted him to the place of Hamsomi highest honor and supreme authority Kumbuka Ephesians 6 inasema we were raised together with Christ So when this power was released into Christ it was also released into you. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. This is the reason as to why no situation no circumstance can take you out. Corona was here and it left you standing. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Now in all honesty to listen to in all honesty. How many here wakati ambapo hiyo corona ilikuwa You felt symptoms za corona. Ai my hand is up. Kichwa ikauma ukasikia tu mwili imeharibika. How is it that you survived? There is power. <laughs> There is power on the inside of you. There is something that corona cannot be able to take you out. Corona cannot be able to exhaust the power that is on the inside of you. You have it. Somebody say I have it. Verse 21. And now he is Kidogo to everybody don't be distracted look to the screen and as we are reading 21 I want you to see that you are raised together with Christ number 2 when he was being exalted you are also exalted Hallelujah let's read together and now he is exalted as fast above every ruler authority government and realm of power in existence he is gloriously enthroned over every name that is ever praised not only in this age but in the age to come now ikitu yenye tunasoma hapa hivi you are reading your reality 
you are reading who you are you are exalted shaitani mona aruta nanake ko you are exalted above every rule above every principality you are seated in Christ Jesus in the highest of the heavens hallelujah bwana yesu asifiwe now 22 Tusome and he alone is the leader and the source of everything needed in the church. God has put everything beneath the authority of Now kidogo wewe uko ndani ya Kristo Yesu. Lakini Mungu anasema God has put everything beneath the authority of Jesus Christ and has given him the highest rank above all others meanwhile you are seated in Christ Jesus 23 and now we his church are his we are his body on earth but we are exalted above body on earth and that that which feels uh, and that which feels him who is being filled by it is the one that feels all in all bwana yesu asifiwe praise the lord i am in christ osea i am in christ jesus i am in christ jesus if you know you will see yourself differently if you know you will not judge yourself with how people your cousins appreciate you you will judge yourself according to that which god says about you you will see yourself not according to as hey my god kuna watu ambao wanaambi wangu we uh one time tulikuwa shobi somebody calls and says my name is so and so na 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 what is it that i'm going to do pastor says nataka kuongea na pastor my name is pastor amos we can talk what is it that i'm going to do my own mother hallelujah how many in our miss have been told go and you will never amount up to anything my own story ah uh, in primary school I did a grave mistake getogo ya litaremwe My auntie opened up his mouth her mouth akasema dogo modigo thie rora na rora ya runi turathie Hallelujah ni ato igana amere to maundu maingi ni maithe mao ni manyi na mao ni anko ciao ni brada ciao ni sister ciao ni cousin ciao Mwarimu akororiri oguo simply because you couldn't be able to find the value of x Ilikuwa inaitwa nini algebra ha x plus 2y is equals to find the value of x Ni wangapi bado wanatumianga hizo hesabu kuhesabu pesa? Ha? Huh? We have na- Madam Susan na sema hata X hawakuangi wazuri. <laughs> Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. The thing that God has placed on the inside of you that na nilikuwa nataka kusema your teacher class 3 teacher, your high school teacher and he released or she released a very demeaning statement todo ni wanga konyi ta madhafu ke but i also have a question wacha niulize swali are koke obo are koke ya kegwera where were they when god was creating me where were they when i was being conceived in eternity where were they question number 
Who gave them authority to judge my life according to human standards? Make set kegera ni okeu dietiro. Hey, I never wanted. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Madire magi kara keherine. Make set kegera ni o makedehera. Nyegeo kana knowledge egia here a hundred percent. Meaning. I came into the exam room with the right answers. They brought the wrong questions. <laughs> Hallelujah. I brought the right answers. Our Kaleta Nini. Know that demons and their princes, do you know? Some of us, just a little glimpse into my, my life, where I'm coming from. My mom was a teacher. My dad was a government worker. My dad was, he worked very far away from Kehoya village. Hallelujah. My mom was a teacher. She had to go and teach. So I can employ Mboch, house manager. The house manager, she took me through hell. There is me, I can't recall. I can't recall any time she gave me porridge. Ikaka kwa tumbo. Ilikuwa inatap, nilikuwa na throw up. Na ninge throw up, she was forcing me to drink it. I wasn't grown enough to understand the kind of words she spoke to me. But I knew I am going through hell. Wana yesu asifiwe, how many have gone through all manner of atrocities here? How many? I grew up. I grew up with a messed up self-esteem. I knew I'm the ugliest person on the face of the earth. I couldn't even bring myself to look to look at myself in the mirror. I couldn't. M totally messed up. My God, until I encountered. Psalm 139, verse 13 and 14, 15. You are wonderfully and fearfully made. Like I would stand in the front of the mirror and just say, Amos, 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 Amos. And I would repeat that over again, over, 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 over again. Sometimes when tears are falling. Hallelujah. Do you know what God says about you? He has already said you are, hey, you are witnessing and you are experiencing his exceeding power. Please, child of God, hold on to that word. Ata nyumba ikifungwa, hold on to that word. Ukikosa fair kwenda nyumbani, uko somewhere in town na kuna nyesha, hold on to that word. Because that word is more real than wewe kunyeshewa. That word is more real than wewe kufungiwa nyumba. Know that demons, know that their princess Satan, their prince Satan do not have power over you. Number two, she talks about repentance. Repentance. Someone say repentance. Someone say repentance. And you stand in the gap and you do that which she said in uh, as number four, invoke the blood of Jesus. Pleading the blood of Jesus. Why the blood of Jesus? There are three. First John chapter number five and verses verse 7. There are three that bear witness in heaven. The Father, the Word, and the Spirit. And the three are one. Verse 8. There are three that bear witness on the face of the earth. The water, the blood, and the Spirit. Revelation chapter number 12 and verses 11. They overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. What is your testimony? Hallelujah. We are come unto Mount Sion, unto the city of the living God, unto a company of you. That's your reality. And to the spirits of just men made perfect. Hebrews 12. It says, and to the blood of sprinkling that speaks a better word than the blood of Abel. The blood of Jesus is speaking over, over your life. How many know from the book of Proverbs that in the presence of two witnesses is a matter established? Are you speaking the language of the blood? Because these words, the validity of these words is that they have been sealed with the blood of Jesus. 
So the moment unasema bwana ni mchungaji wangu you are declaring that which has been endorsed by the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. You come from a different order. Hey, you stand in the gap and say in the name of Jesus. Every power every manner of spirit that is trying to exert its influence upon my family i come by the blood of jesus that blood is is speaking mercy that blood is speaking blessings that blood is speaking prosperity that blood is speaking uh, success that blood is speaking all the good things that can be found in christ jesus over your life over your life over your children over The sole reason as why the blood speaks over your life is because you are born of God. You are a child of God. Can we just do the slides very quickly? Uh, my brother Joshua. I'm no longer a slave to fear. Zagiza zimeshindwa kwa jina la twimbe bwana yesu nazo nguvu zagiza zimeshindwa kwa jina la bwana Jeshi wala silaha bali ni kwangu mtaka si kwa majeshi si kwa majeshi twimbe tu sisi wote wala silaha ni kwa roho Zunguvuza kiza Zimeshindwa Kwa jina la Bwana Yesu Zunguvuza kiza Zimeshindwa Kwa jina la Bwana the Bible says in the book of 1 Timothy the spirit speaks expressly that in the latter times dangerous and perilous times shall come men some shall depart from the faith they shall give heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils I'm speaking to men from central there has been a wave Ado marenda goshokia marasho maroiga marasho kiero we mukaro seducing spirits and doctrines of devil so much so some have become they have fulfilled the wrong side of scripture they have departed from the faith maroiga de pastor no de mudhuri de moge ko mo kristo mudhuri some in church are quiet you may never know where they go on Saturday afternoon. Make it a good ship, Brown. Now be it's she a white year. And I love how it is so quiet in the Presbyterian Church of East Africa. But can I tell you something? You know, one time, Reverend Julius. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what they are saying to Reverend. They're asking, between Dedan Kemadi and Jesus Christ, who died for you? That's a question. Who died for you? 
Hey, who bought you freedom with his own life? And some ladies here, your boyfriends are in that thing. But how many among us know two things? One, usiseme unaka, wait, wacha niaribu kidogo tu kabisa, Reverend Susan, nini doket yako? Light cannot have fellowship with darkness. How many know? How many know that bad company corrupts good morals? How many know it takes a person who is chini here kukuvuta mwe mwenye uko juu? Ukaoroka, ukagua age shora kama ndoka kohana. It is God, there is nothing common between believers and unbelievers. The word that says don't be unequally yoked. Wacha sasa niharibu kabisa. Um the ladies who say uh, uh, ni mpoa ana provide um, he, this guy is just a penguin he knows how to love a woman Me, I will change him now if Jesus cannot change him who are you ebushi kai okin Okay, Hallelujah. My flash disk na nini bluetooth na nini tulizungusha cassette na hizo tu you know the, the, <laughs> you go to school barefoot oh kahwa ine he dio dhakite no ticket yago thie toro ni witha na wetha ba maguru ukora garaga thie uthie te toro na de koraura Odite odite nyu banene ukoma any training bwana yesu asifiwe ndamu ririkani akora ihu but kuna mbogi fulani iko hapa hivi ai ai wezi elewa hiyo story bwana yesu asifiwe so that's when we were singing those songs and how many know we would tungesugua migu oka oka kuhadira fio niguo odie thoko na ede orathi magoro mathe Tumete koraya tuge kinya ha tiodo wa inya witu ni odo wa inya wa gai Let me tell you child of God you have uncles your boyfriends you have people surrounding you that are facing the mountain and I can tell you out of this that we are sharing you are a threat to them What is going to happen? Uh, talk to me. What is going to happen? Now, there is going to be darkness. True? True or not true? Now, what if you switch them on? Now, will darkness start saying, is it okay I go? Huh? Darkness, the moment light shines, darkness excuses itself very quickly and leaves. The Bible says you are the light of the world let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your father The Bible calls you light Ephesians 5 it says you who are sometimes darkness now you are light in Christ The very definition of darkness is your family without you Kenya without you Kenya is so blessed to have you in it Kenya is so blessed that you are born Kenya Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. That's why I'm saying some of us are carrying the very move of God that is going to deliver our families. Hapa. Wako hapa lakini wamenyamaza tu. Our mom one day she stood there and says there is no way you can serve under me and remain the most low. 
you will become a testament that indeed God changes. Let's go to the first slide. Somebody say, I'm a child of God. I'm a child of Now, look at this. We, we look at First John chapter number 3 and verses 1. Behold, what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us. Therefore, that we should be called the Son of God. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. What manner of love? It is beyond knowledge. It is beyond understanding. What manner of love is this? That the father has loved you. And even when you got born again, he never stopped loving you. He never stopped. For even before you were formed in your mother's womb, he knew you. That word no has connotations of intimacy. He was very intimate with you. You are always at his bosom. That we should be called sons. Let's go to the next slide. Please follow, follow. We are, sasa tunayenda kuland sasa. And we are going to pray. First John, this is the verse 2. Beloved, now are we the sons of? When? Come on sons. When are we sons of God? Okay, netodo wame hamwe. Beloved, now are we the sons of? Read that again. Beloved, now are we the sons of? And it does not yet appear what we shall be, but we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Eat to the Daura next time. Let's go to the next slide. Bwana usehemu yangu Rafiki yangu wewe Katika Hey, next slide, uh, Joshua Tatemea na wewe Pamoja Next slide Pamoja na wewe Galatians 3 verse 26 all the way to 27. I, I, need, I need us to flow because there is something I'm targeting, Joshua. So if we delay, delay, um, we are going to lose the train of thought. Somebody say, I'm a child of God. Say that again. I am a child of God. Say, I am a son of God. So Galatians chapter number 3 verse 26, 27 says, this is the Passion Translation. You have all become true children of God. It is there. Eh? You have all become true children of God by the faith of Jesus Christ, the anointed one. It was faith that uh, it was faith that immersed you into Jesus, the anointed one. And now you are somebody say I'm covered and clothed with his anointing. Hallelujah. It immersed you into Christ. Can I, can I use this? Nisaidetu hapa minister njenge. Tueke, tueke. Nisaidetu kweka manje. Very quickly. Eh. Masa ijaye kabisa. Chukua tu, chukua tu hata iyo kapa. Chukua iyo kapa. Kuja na yo. So this is Amos. This is you. Okay. This is Amos. Jaza kabisa. Jaza kabisa. Adi overflow. Don't worry. Tusapanguza. Jaza tu adi overflow. Because now that's the standard of the kingdom. This is how God measures fullness. When you're overflowing. Not when you're full to the brim. Hallelujah. Now, you have all become true children by faith. Thank you. Thank you. Minister Njenga. By faith of Jesus Christ. And it was faith that immersed you. Immersed you. Through and through, you have been imbued, 
made replete with the power of God. That's what the Bible says. And now you are covered. Every part, you are covered. Two, you are clothed with the anointing. Hallelujah. This is not talking to pastors. It is talking to believers. As many as have been baptized into Christ Jesus, they are put on Christ. Faith immersed you into Christ. You are clothed with the anointing. The anointing that heals the sick. The anointing that raises the dead. The anointing. Hallelujah. I say the other day, the other day that that anointing for healing the sick is not just humans. It's not just humans. See, we had testimony by Shosho Nancy from hospitality. She said she prayed over a cow that was ilikuwa imekaa siku saba imekaa hivi chini. Akimuoba moko. Ngombe. E kama kwerogie. Of course that is that is not in the Bible. Hale. E kare kana iria. Ne kare kakorea. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Some of us here are poultry poultry farmers ha gukono gukwe irakwa afu gashikira we bogo ko ya gukwa neke hado mehoni the bible says the act, the creation awaits for the manifestation of sons hallelujah bwana yesu asifiwe you carry them. jesus said go heal the sick Go heal the sick at the cabbages iko tu hapo zinaanza ku yield in the name of Jesus as long as I am a son of God and God dwells in me I declare in my farm pests are not going to ravage my crops I refuse in the name of Jesus do you know you are in dominion do you know yes some of us we 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 keep on thinking about what is happening in our family and yet no other amirio ko kumatene now you have been clothed with power. You are like a, a person who has been re- rescued from a certain prison. You've been, Madam Susan, I see your prison. <laughs> You've been rescued from a certain prison. God amekuleta maali. Maali. He has put something on the inside of you. Call the ministry of reconciliation and the word of reconciliation. He has sent you back to go and rescue others. Full of power. We have this treasure in earthen vessels. That the excellency of the power be not unto us, but be unto God. What is this that you carry? What is this that you carry? Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Now, I say this with all due respect. There are times when evangelists will stand there like she was saying on Sunday. She would, she would say, Ne de kete muno. And at times she will say that she says, please patron Madoka Dore. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. What is it in leaves the eyes to make mom lose line? Ataraini. Neatia mwa na ke agerora muiretu. Or even vice versa. Praise the Lord. Wacha ni waseme. Wale ma secret admirers wana kuanga church. Ana kaanga tu kwa kiti tu fulani tu. Sababu anataka kuangalia tu pale tu. Wanaangalia na hivi. Hata wasikizi neno. Mwangire kwa hikari ya evangelist maro rane. Makaro ranogo. Maka kena. Wacha kuniangalia. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. How is it evangelist Njogu mudu wa gikororogo no menye mudu yo dakweda. Na darakweda rakiedu kiega. Isn't that enough to tell you that you are an atmosphere by yourself? Hallelujah. You are let me tell you. This is your reality. You are covered and clothed with this anointing. That means you are the atmosphere of the dominion of heaven in your family in your workplace hakuna how is it that uh, kuna bosses ambao wanaweza ingia to their places of work just like this and everybody goes quiet na place mingine utapata boss ameingia hivi and everybody is happy ni kwa nini there is a kind atmosphere amebeba 
Praise the Lord. Amen. You are the very atmosphere of heaven. You are clothed with the anointing. You are. Look at, look at yourself. So even if, even if situations and circumstances were to press against you, what is going to come out? The anointing. Hallelujah. When sickness comes against you, it's already challenged. When all manner of situations come, circumstances, your caretaker comes against you, it's already challenged. Because you carry the anointing. Somebody say, I'm anointed. Say, I'm anointed. Let's go to the next slide. We are about to pray. We are about to pray. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. James 1.18, and it was of his own free will that he gave us birth as his sons, by the way. Somebody say, I'm a son. Say that again, I am a son. Mimi ni mzaliwa wake mungu. Ameniza kwa neno lake. This is his own free will. So that we should be a kind of first fruits of his creature, a sample of what he created to be consecrated to himself. Say, I am a son of God. I am born of the word. Kuna wenye wa semi, siyo matizi na nataka murilis faith. Sema, I am a son of God. I am born of the word of God. What does that mean? If you are born of the word of God, Jesus stood and said, heaven shall pass away. The earth shall pass away, but my word shall abide. So you are born of that which cannot be taken away by anything. Hallelujah. Let's continue. I am born of God. Let's continue. What were we before? <laughs> what were we before? Check, check, check this. Check this. What were we before? Ma Ma Matthew, verse 9 in a sema, but now you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people called out of darkness to show forth the praises of his, the praises of his glory. And then verse 10 in a sema, once you are not you are not a people at all. So if you are not a people, what who are you? Hallelujah. Amen. Now, if you are not a people, what who are you? But now you are God's. Come on, guys. But now you are. You are not of your muherega. We are going to get there. Once you are unpitied, but now you are pitied and have received Somebody say, I have received mercy. Now, let it, let's make it a little bit serious. Let's go to the next slide. What were we before? What was our status? Next slide. What was our status before? Ephesians 2, 12. That at that time, you were without, without who? Christ. Number two, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and the strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. You don't have Christ. You don't have God. You don't have hope. You are estranged from the commonwealth of Israel. Where we to una float to? You are an accident waiting for somewhere to happen. That is why mom every now and then she re refers to Psalm 73. Envy not the wicked. Envy not the wicked when they so seem to prosper. Don't envy them. Because this is the status of any person who does not have Christ. This is the person, this is the status of any person they are not a people. They are not a people. They are without Christ. They are without God. They don't have any hope. And even if they pray, Proverbs says that the prayer of a wicked man is an abomination before the Lord. What was our status? Let's go. Next. Si, si, ni haya kwa buana. How, how our status changed. Now, I will ask you, go read Romans 11. Okay? Because Ababu, in a, about the vine, okay? And how the Jews, they rejected Christ and that they were plucked. Okay? They were plucked. So that in our being grafted into Christ, uh, the Lord was seeking for occasion to stir them to jealousy. So in Afrika verse 17, in Auliza, and if some of the branches were broken off, the Jews, and you being a wild olive, Mutamayo Wage Daka, were grafted among them, and with them became a partaker of the root and the fatness. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So, 
kumaanisha if we were to look at you through the lens of the word of god you are plucked from the family your family tree and you are grafted into christ the moment you are grafted into christ you do not dictate the kind of there is a principle that is coming from the root it is that which dictates what the results that you are going to have in your life hallelujah bwana yesu asifiwe John chapter number 15 he says that the, the Lord is the vine and we are the branches I think it should be the next slide you being a wild olive I have been grafted into that vine John 15 I am the vine and you are the branches when you are joined with me and I with you the relation intimate and organic the harvest is sure to be abundant separated and you can't produce without me you can't produce a thing hallelujah so the same question evangelist was asking we ask again in light of this are there generational curses for a person that is a believer please answer me why because you are hey, hey, no there the kiwo ya gikoyo ne wako horirwo that should tell you ne dai shaka mete ya mikod no wako na mebe and then I was grafted into Christ hallelujah now I have become a partaker of the divine nature that which is in the roots is what is found in me do you know Jesus is the root and the offspring of David so that which is in the root is what is found in me why because it is not the branches that supply the roots it is the roots that supply the branches sour our, this is our current status, our reality. Let's go to the next slide. What does this mean? And then to Soma to Kimaliza. My God. My God. My God. My God. Next slide. We bow before your throne. We glorify your holy name. We bow before your throne. Wewe karanja uko kwa network ingine. Neoka, what does this mean? Are we able to see here? Are we able to read? Let's read the first one. I have become a partaker of God's divine nature. Repeat that again. I have become a partaker of God's divine nature. What does that mean? If you are a partaker of the divine nature, Nikumanisha, the divine nature is not complete without you. Neither are you complete without the divine nature. You have become a partaker. The divine nature is what is found in you. Number two, let us read. The exceeding power of God flows in me. Hallelujah. Can we add something here? We say the abundant life. Can we read the abundant life? The abundant life of God flows in me. I have come that you may have life and have it more abundant. Say the abundant life. The abundant life flows in me. Now, let's read number four. What cannot be found in the vine cannot be found in me. Can sickness be found in the vine? Can poverty be found in the vine? What about defeat? Come on, guys. You're not answering me. What about defeat? Can curses be found in the, in, in the vine? Now you are partaking of the fatness of the root. Isaiah 10 verse 27, it says that in that day, the yoke shall be broken because you have grown fat. You are, uh, it has been broken because you've grown fat out of partaking of the fatness of the root. What cannot be found, and these are faith declarations that we, we release over our lives. I am a cut out to prosper. I am cut out to succeed. I am cut out. I rise. And this is why the moment you walk with this revelation, to skiza vizuri, as many people are, that are waiting for you to go down, I, I can tell you, they are going to wait so long. So long. Why? Because what cannot be found in the vine cannot be found in you. Hallelujah. Let's read another one. All that is in. Read that loudly. All that is in Christ. Number, the other one, is it number six? Uh, let's, uh, 
Hebu tusome kama tulienda academy. What is not in Christ is not Let's let's stand up. And then give me the last slide. Let's all rise. Give me the last slide. Eh. Hakika we mana zofari. Zita ni fuata mimi Nita ka nyumba ni mwabwana Siku zote za maisha ya Just declare like you know it's your reality Hakika Hakika we mana so fadili Sita ni fuata mimi Sita ka nyumba ni mwapa Wangu siku zote za maisha one more time on the top of our voice. Hakika. Hakika. Hold it there. Everybody on our eyes on the screens. My very nature is blessings. My very nature is blessings. Second Corinthians 5, verse 16. We henceforth know no man after the flesh, but after Christ. For if any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. The old is gone and a new is come. Verse 18. And all things are of God, who was in Christ Jesus, reconciling me to himself. I prosper, I succeed, I rise, I excel, I move forward. I move forward. Oh, let us open up our mouths and declare this. My very nature, my very nature, my very nature is blessings blessings i excel i prosper i succeed i rise by the grace of god i excel my life is on an upward trajectory my life my life is on an ever forward movement in the mighty name of jesus somebody release faith release faith softly release faith don't be tired release faith declare it joshua we need this slide we need it oh my nature is blessings my nature is blessings. My nature is blessings. No curse can touch me. Not, no curse can come upon me. He was made a curse for me. That I may be the blessed of the Lord. He was made a curse. He was made a curse. Let's lift it up. Let's lift it up. Come on, release your faith. Just look to the screen and just declare. 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 This is who I am. Curse can come upon me. No curse can come upon my children. No curse can come upon my marriage. No curse can come upon my call to serve God. No curse. No curse. Oh, curse be everyone that hangs on the tree. Jesus hung on that tree for me. He hung on that tree for me. My life on earth is an exhibition. My life on earth is an advertisement of God's glory as revealed in the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Oh, somebody declare. Somebody declare, this is who I am. My nature, my nature is blessings. My nature is excellence. There is an excellent spirit in me. There is an excellence. Wan 
na siku zote Moving in abundance Moving with the Spirit of the Holy Ghost I am favored This is who I am, this is who I am Moving in abundance Moving with the Spirit of the Holy Ghost son of God. Galatians 3. Ah, the blessing of Abraham has come upon me because I am in Christ. It is the Lord that has blessed me. It is the Lord that has blessed me. It is the Lord that has set me apart. I'm walking in abundance. Walking in the spirit of the Holy Ghost. I am favored. I am favored. I am favored. I am blessed. I walk in divine health. I am protected of the Lord. I am shielded of the Lord. I cannot be cast. I cannot be cast. Overflow. Abundance of blessing It's a new level It's a new level There's an overflow Abundance of favor Abundance of favor I'm taking over Favored ones, we have a place in Zion. Our place is in Christ. God has blessed. We are the people that God has favored. No sickness can touch us. Even if you are sick right now, tap into a higher reality and declare my body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. My body is the, not the temple of afflictions and sicknesses. I walk in divine health. Beloved, I wish above all things that you may prosper and be in good health even as your soul is prospering. There is an excellent spirit in me. Please give me that slide back. There is an excellent spirit in me. That, that element that causes people to prosper. When others are closing shop, it is in me. It is in me. This is why our marriages are going to stand. This is why we are going to serve God in excellence. This is the reason as to why our children will grow in the fear and in the admonition of the Lord. This is why our hands will forever lend and never borrow. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are the people that God has blessed. As you go into the marketplace, ah, you are favored. You are favored. You are favored. You are favored. Give me that slide. Give me that slide. My steps are ordered of the Lord. Look at how the word, the word of God describes you. It says, 
He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. That is your description. Your life is hid with Christ in God. That is your reality, my sister. That is your reality, my brother. You will not be afraid of the arrow that flies by day. You will not be afraid of the pestilence that soaks in darkness. Nor the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side. Ten thousand at your right side. It shall not come near you. It shall not come near you. This is your reality. I prosper. You succeed. You rise. Somebody is not listening. Stop remembering that you don't have a job. This is the report of the Lord right now. You are alive right now even if you don't have a job. You are rising by reason of hearing this. And this is why I have confidence. He said in Isaiah 55, My word shall not return unto me void. It shall accomplish the purpose. That is why I have the confidence to tell you, Teacher, teacher Tabi, you are rising. You are rising. You are rising. Ebu, lift up those hands. Lift up those hands. Lift up those hands. Lift up those hands. I declare by the decree of the Lord, these hands will forever lend and never borrow. These hands will forever lend and never borrow. These hands will, I will never borrow, but will forever lend. And the Bible makes this provision. You will lend to nations. You will lend to nations. You will lend to nations. You will, we will support the work of the ministry. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are the people that are going to hold high the hands of our Moses, like the Aaron and the Ur, in the name of Jesus. And then lastly, your life on earth. Your life on earth. Hey! My God. Mm -hmm. Victory is money, money, me. Money, money. Me. Victory, Victory is, is my, my name. name. My, my life is an exhibition. My name, my name. Favor is my, my name. name. Blessings my is my name. name. Healing Blessings is my name. My name, my name. My name, my name. Favor is my name, my name. My name. My name. My name. My name. Goodness is my name, my name. My name. Goodness and mercy follow me all my days, all my days. Goodness and mercy follow me all my days, all my days. Goodness and mercy follow me to him all my days, all my days. On my left, on my right. Money, money, hey. Favor is my name, my, my life is an exhibition. My life is an advertisement of God's glory. My, my life is advertising God's faithfulness. My life. Goodness and mercy follow me. On my days. Goodness and mercy follow you. On my days. Goodness and mercy follow you. On my days, Goodness and mercy follow you. All your days, all your days. Goodness and mercy, what I can I on my days, on my days, on my left, on my right. My name, my name. Favor is my name, my name. My name, my name. Favor is my name, my name. My name, my name. Favor is my name, my name. My name, my name. Favor is my name, my name. Healing. Healing is my name, my name. Hey. My name, my name. Prosperity. Prosperity is my name, my name. My name, my name, favor. Favor is my name, my name. Ah, my name, my name. Riches, riches is my name, my name. Favor is my name, my name. My name, my name. Favor is my name, my name. My name, my name. Favor is my name, my name. My name, my name. Favor is my name, my name. My name, my name. Favor is my name, my name. My name, my name. Favor is my name, my name. My name, my name. Favor is my name, my name. My name, my name. Favor is my name, my name. My name, my name. Favor is my name, my name. My name, my name. Favor is my name, my name. My name, my name. Favor is my name, my name. My name, my name. Favor is my name, my name. My name, my name. Favor is my name, my name. My name, my name. Favor is my name, my name. My name, my name. Favor is my name, my name. My name, my name. Favor is my name, my name. My name, my name. Favor is my name, my name. My name, my name. Favor is my name, my name. My name, my name. Favor is my name, my name. My name, my name. Favor is my name, my name. My name, my name. Favor is my name, my name. My name, my name. Favor is my name, my name. My name, my name. Favor is my name, my name. My name, my name. Favor is my name, my name. My name, my name. Favor is my name, my name. My name, my name. Favor is my name, my name. My name, my name. Fav
Ephesians 3.10, it says, And to this intent, that unto the principalities and powers may be known through you, the church of Jesus Christ, the multifaceted, manifold wisdom of God. The principalities and powers are looking at the church of Jesus Christ to learn the revelations of Christ Jesus. Know yourself for who you are. And this is where now repentance comes in. You start changing your mind. You start changing your mind. Allow the word of God to wash your mind. Allow the word of God to shape the way you think about yourself. And including the way you speak about yourself. This book of the Lord shall not depart out of your mouth. You shall meditate on it day and night. Day and night. You shall observe to do all that is written therein. Then you shall have. You shall. You shall. You shall. Blessed is the man that does not walk in the counsel of their wicked. He doesn't stand in the way of sinners. He doesn't sit on the seats of the scorners. But his delight is in the word of the Lord. And on the word of the Lord, he doth meditate day and night. Colossians 3, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. Let it dwell in you richly. Let it dwell in you richly. The moment situation and circumstances press in against you, we will say, let the weak say, I am strong. I am strong. I am strong. I may be in prison, but I am strong. I will, like, uh, like Akina Paul and Sila in Acts 16, I will raise a praise even when I'm in prison. I will pick a, mo, a, 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 a knife and a fork. Hallelujah. Why? Because my life is an exhibition. My life is an advertisement. It is telling a story that indeed the Lord has blessed you. Let me ask, while everybody's eyes is open, are you here and you're not born again? Are you here and you're not born again? We may be speaking a lot of stories here, but these things are strange to you. You are without God. You are without hope. You are estranged from these promises we are talking about. Are you here and you're not born again? Come to the front. If you're not born again, come. If you're born again, just be praying. Keep your eyes open wide and pray and pray. Just pray. Are you here and you're not born again? Pray. Come, come to the front. Are you here and you're not born again? Come to the front. All right, stretch forth your hands and hold your neighbor. Just hold someone close to you. Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, thank you for light. Thank you for revelation, O God. That our eyes are continually washed with your word. The light of revelation floods our eyes that we may see clearly who we are in you and who you are in us, that which you've done in us. And I thank you, Father. Start our hearts, O God, that we continually meditate, brood upon, uh, continually ruminate on this, Abba Father. Speak it of our lives, speak it of our children. Speak it of our wives, over the works of our hands. Speak it. And even at the same time, casting down all manner of imaginations, casting down every thought, every opinions of men concerning us, and bringing all this to the obedience of the name of Christ, in the name of Jesus. We know we are the blessed of the Lord. We are blessed beyond the curse. We know that greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. We know that we are the ones that you are leading in a triumphal procession making known in every place 
the sweet fragrance of the Lord Jesus Christ through us through us we know that our lives are an advertisement of God's exceeding power of God's immense power we know that our lives are an advertisement of God's faithfulness God's glory even God's power we thank you for this is done in Jesus name we pray in Jesus name we pray we can descend on the comfort of our seat as I make welcome to the microphone Reverend Susan Karaoke help me with the joy of the Lord appreciate this dear woman of God come on appreciate Jesus appreciate Jesus Nita shokia gado bere aku kiuga gani wega tora rawa ani nore yeso kaya gado kiuga gani wega amen wow amen are you blessed a lot and we really thank God. Can we put our hands together for Jesus? Even as we thank him for this revelation. Hallelujah. Amen. No wakati ambapo umepata ufunuo. Wa who God is through Christ. Yaani haitakuwa struggle even to know yourself and to stand where you are. You've been positioned in Christ. Amen. Hey, Pastor Amos, may the Lord continue to increase in you more and more. More revelation of Christ. Even as you continue to expound and reveal Christ. Hey, that was amazing. Si tumesoma. Eh, umes... Wewe amba ulikuwa nasema uko chini ya raana, please. Sasa we have received a new language. Sindio? Sindio? You know, Mungu hawezi kutuleta kwake anafu hatupatii language. Ametupatia language. So we are no longer under any curse. The greatest enemy. And allow me to put it like this. The greatest enemy of a believer. It is ignorance. And I really thank God because today Pastor Amos has been used of God to reveal who we are in him. So you are no longer ignorant of who you are and who Christ has made you to become. What authority that you have. Sasa usikae kama mtu ambaye amepotea. Kwa sababu wale wamepotea ndio Hosea alikuwa amesema na doa kwa Mora kadi todo wake ewagi omenyo Eh ugasoka raini <laughs> So sasa omenyo ndio inafanyanga to rudi line sasa tumerudi line So don't suffer out of ignorance Now you know The bottom line it is knowing who you are. Amen. When you, you, you know who you are, I mean, always it in Gizwa, you will stand your ground. You will claim that which is yours. Neguo. And you will not suffer. Ukijua umepewa title deed na iko mahali. Na niyako ama shamba fulani imewekwa. Doane gere toto doare moana. Now you have matured. Na ujua uko na title deed. Yako imewekwa na mtu fulani. Jameni utaiendewa, utaiendea bila na hata utaanza kujenga. Now the knowledge that we have received, can we use it? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. To, uh, to proclaim, to declare, you know, to exercise that authority. Wacha tusikae tena kama tumefungwa. You know the Bible says in Galatians 5 verse 1, it is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Sasa wewe usikae kama mtu ambaye hajawekwa uhuru. Eh? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So, hey. Sasa kama 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 I, I want to believe hizo scriptures zote tumeziandika. Kwa wale walikuwa wana record wameweka kwa record. Because this is our heritage. This is who we are. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ndio tugetige kwa shock ya kiohoine ringi na wemuohore. Ikarata modo muhore tusimame 
want to to say benediction because tumemaliza na tumeomba si tumeomba yeah na i mean if we know who we are because we are born of god we are born of his spirit so we what character do we have we have the character of god god is a giver so 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 am i so are you so now sasa hapa hakuna kushida tukitafuti didi ati kukusawishi utoe unatoa tu because that is your character it is your nature and if our nature is blessings i mean we need these blessings neguo so utakuja utoe kama unataka kutoa fungu la 10 ninaona kuna ushers wanatusaidia yeah, unainua tu mkono if you want to give a thanksgiving offering you know if you yeah if you want to give a love offering and those kind of this sita kwa tasiga ya neti how ba asha inayo so wewe utachukua bahasha uweke hapo ama ukuje uweke sadaka yako tu you know tunatolea wapi ye jose tunaleta hapa mbele ya yeah, kwa utukufu wa jina la yesu na tunaruta tado mekete atia yani mutiremenya tunaruta kuma mudhidho ino moria idhue to tuhana na oria to tuikite na timehodhi basta imoze na nikumusha sio ni nini ugi ugi gogo sio matio kaga ushirika you know we give mat yes au oh, sorry hata wale gugani tu mine online hata wale wa online let us put our hands together as we bid bye bye kwa heri we show them our online brethren some love mahorere makofi mega wametua company hata kama sisi tulikuwa hapa sawa sana huwa haya kuiteka kaona no kwa ndio kana nimeona wega and so kwa wale watatoa kwa online kuna hiyo pia bill number 5414 766 sisi wengine wote sadaka zetu zimebarikiwa